I'm Brian Quijada. I am the playwright of Kid Prince and Pablo. I also play Kid Prince in the show. My name is Marvin Quijada. I'm the composer of Kid Prince and Pablo, and I play Pablo. Kid Prince and Pablo is a story of Kid Prince who wants to be a rapper and the story of a fresh immigrant named Pablo who wants to have a better life for himself and his family. And they have a chance encounter where they're able to switch roles and learn what it's like to live in another person's shoes and gain the valuable lessons that come with that. Essentially learning that the grass isn't always greener. Kid Prince and Pablo is inspired by Mark Twain's The Prince and the Pauper. I read it, I picked it up, I picked up the book a few years ago and became so involved in how I could retell and reshape the story to have meaning in today's world. And uh, as soon as I was reading it, I realized that this um, was an opportunity for us to make a new relevant story and for us to be on stage together because uh, my brother introduced me to theater. Um, and it was like my dream come true to be able to do a play with my brother and have him compose the music. And as soon as we started diving into what this play was about, we realized that um, it was an important story to tell today. The Prince and the Pauper deals with topics that I think we're still dealing with today. Like don't judge a book by its cover, um, the wealth divide. And I think that um, when we talk about our America, when we talk about our country, these are things that come up with talking about race and talking about rich people and poor people. And it's really important to, to relook at classical pieces of literature to see how they still matter to us today and how can we uh, keep telling this story and improving the future of how we view and take on these topics. Um, and do it in a way that's fresh and exciting um, so that it hits us at the forefront of our minds. I think that's what's really beautiful about adapting something that we all know and love. Well, the story that my brother uh, concocted is about a world where rap is illegal. And rap has definitely been an influential genre for us growing up, and we listen to a lot of that stuff. Um, and it helped inform my brother lyrically. And so then what I tried to do is just complement the lyrics in a musical style that my brother trusted me with, which was just do whatever sounds really cool, really fresh, really just bounce and bass. And he's using a technique called finger drumming, which is, is basically each little button is triggered by finger pressing. So it's really cool and exciting, this new art form that he's, that he's using, that it's so theatrical, and it's such a spectacle to watch. It's such an incredible thing, how he's made yeah. the composition. So the mixture of, of because what my brother's speaking of is basically assembling the songs live for the audience as like a puzzle. Because uh, each little, it's basically four, uh, 16 squares in four rows and four columns, and each one has a different sound. So it is a feat to play it live, and it's also a cool feat to have my brother's lyrics, because he goes from fast to slow, for us to just bounce off of each other uh, in that capacity, along with the other performers that are doing a similar thing. Uh, as far as the style of music, we wanted to go with bass heavy, because, yeah, it's like we wanted to make it feel like it was at a club, because that's what's, at least to us, is what's really fun, when like the music is felt in like your, your chest. Uh, and so that's the vibe that I tried to go with. Um, and how beautiful it is that, you know, he's playing his music and I'm uh, rapping these lyrics. And it's like a metaphor for life and, and being together and work, making this music as a community, really. It's like coming together to make something joy, filled with joy. And that is what the story itself is about, because it's about the prince who wants to be a rapper. And my brother's written some really great raps, and it's about this fresh immigrant who wants to literally make music, and here he's presented with this brand new technology that allows him to do this, which is literally what my brother and I literally wanted to do, and so it's a really cool thing to have a mirror of the story mirror how my brother and I wanted to perform for this. Uh, additionally, uh, I'm a clown and a mime, and so my brother has written something where I don't really have to talk, um, and I get to just do mime and clown and play music, so, yeah, thank you for that. That's yeah. really amazing. 
there's a few ways that I can play music, and I've offered a bunch of other ways of playing it. Remember, it's like, no, that's not theatrical, because the other ones were like just triggering loops, whereas this one, there's no loops. It's like, I mean, there are a couple loops, but it's literally me playing live. Like, I'm drumming live. Um, I, I'm composing it live, so literally I can remix it live. Like, if, if, for example, my brother's all of a sudden decides to freestyle, I can like go as long as he needs, or I can cut back. It's amazing the the freedom that I have, which is also terrifying. I mean, because it's any, a tightrope. It's a tightrope. Tight tight anything can happen. Uh, which there have been situations where anything does happen, and then it's just like, oh, get back together, get back, get get back together, and that's what makes it exciting because it is theater. And for me, when I see theater, I enjoy it when it's played live like an instrument. And so that's what my brother has given me an opportunity to do. The idea of technology. Uh, and being able to use that for art, um, because some of the some of the songs that were made were made like on my phone. So literally, who does not have kind of like a smartphone? Some of these it's so accessible. Some of these programs are free, and then you can make your own thing, and you don't have to wait for somebody to give you an opportunity. So for me, from a technological aspect of making music, that's incredible because you can DJ on a phone. You it's it's you can DJ on a tablet. It's it's bananas, and so then when, when kids come up to me and they're like, what's this program that you were using? And I'm like, oh, it's this and this, and you can get it for free. They're like, what? And then they get it. It's incredible to connect in that way from a technological aspect, as far as themes. See, as far as topics and themes of the play, I mean, it's this idea that um, we're all, to see the humanity in, in those that might not look like we do or sound like we do, um, to embrace, uh, love and acceptance to not judge a book by its cover, to um, be um, empaths and feel what other people are feeling. And I think it's really uh, the crux of the play. And I think that if people can leave with an understanding and, a, and an, an appreciation and, and um, a general understanding that my life not, might not be different than yours or yours or anybody's. Um, that's a beautiful thing.